بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين There are so many segments of the society that require from us to be dutiful to them. The Prophet والسلام, made strong emphasis on giving our neighbors their due right. The Prophet said والسلام, in an authentic hadith, Jibreel, the archangel, kept on reminding me of the rights of my neighbor until I thought that he would make the neighbor one of my heirs who would share the inheritance I leave behind. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, said, whoever believes in Allah on the day of judgment must not harm his neighbor. So now we're talking about preventive maintenance, not harming. Of course, a higher degree is to honor and to be kind to. But the bare minimum is that you do not harm your neighbor. To the extent that the Prophet ﷺ once said thrice, Wallahi la yu'min, by Allah he does not believe. By Allah he does not believe. By Allah he does be not believe. The companions said, who, O Prophet of Allah? The Prophet said, he whom his neighbor is not safe from his wrongdoings. So if my neighbor is not safe from my wrongdoing, I'm not a believer. A man came to the Prophet and said, O Prophet of Allah, I have a neighbor who's been bugging me, who's been harming me, who's been doing so many horrible things to me and he's not stopping it. The Prophet said, والسلام, take all the furniture of your house and put it on the road outside your house. No questions asked. The man complied with the instruction of the Prophet. And he sat there next to his furniture. Whenever a passerby came, he would ask, why are you keeping the furniture outside your house? The man would reply, because my neighbor is harming me, is abusing me, and the Prophet told me والسلام, to put my furniture outside. So each and every one who hears this would say, may Allah curse your neighbor. May Allah curse your neighbor. When the neighbor saw that the companions are cursing him and everybody's walking by is cursing him, he said, my neighbor, please forgive me. Get your furniture inside the home. By Allah, I will never ever abuse you or harm you or do anything harmful for you. There are so many rights of our neighbors upon us. The definition of a neighbor even is so vast that some scholars say a neighbor is everyone in your neighborhood who hears the adhan. And some narration said it is seven homes in all direction away from your home. The neighbors have lots and lots of rights over us. We have to protect their families. We have to take care of their children on the streets when we see them, discipline them, show them what is good and what is bad. We have to check on them. Sometimes they may be poor or in need. The Prophet said to, to his companion Abu, Abu Dhar, he said, Abu Dhar, when you cook a meal, try to make the soup or the gravy of that meal a lot so that you can give it to your neighbors. The Prophet said والسلام, to women, do not look down at any gift of a neighbor of yours giving to you, even if it was something like the hoof of an animal. All of this to display, to show to us 
that the community would not thrive, would not prosperous unless there is love and harmony between the members of the society. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.